Are the following fractions different? Are they equivalent? Notice how the only difference is the placement of the negative sign. For the first fraction, the negative is on the left. For the second fraction, the negative is in the numerator. And for the third fraction, the negative is in the denominator. Let's begin by comparing these on a calculator. Very quickly, we can see all three fractions are equal to negative 0.5 or negative 5 tenths, and therefore our three fractions are equivalent. If we click on the convert to fraction bar on the far, if we click on the convert to fraction circle on the far right, notice how it shows all fractions are equal to negative one half, where the negative is on the left side. This is the most common way to express a negative fraction. However, because the form is different, they do mean something slightly different when we think of a fraction bar as meaning division. We can also think of a negative sign as the opposite. So negative one half can be thought of as the opposite of positive one half or the opposite or negative of positive one divided by positive two, which again we know is a decimal is equal to negative 0.5. The second fraction of negative one over positive two is equal to negative one divided by positive two, which is equal to negative 0.5. And positive one over negative two is equal to positive one divided by negative two, which again is equal to negative 0.5. So the word different is somewhat vague, but I would say because the form of each fraction is different, the fractions do mean something different, but because they're all equal to negative 0.5 or negative 1 half, they are all equivalent. And now let's take a look at simplifying some additional fractions with negative signs. First we have negative two over negative three, which means that negative two divided by negative three, and we know a negative divided by a negative is equal to a positive, and therefore this simplifies to positive two-thirds. Next we have negative and then negative two over positive three. We can think of this as the opposite of negative two over positive three. Well, the opposite of negative two over positive three, or the opposite of any negative is going to be positive. This simplifies to positive two-thirds. And then for the third fraction we have the opposite or negative negative two over negative three. So let's write this as negative, and then in parentheses, negative two over negative three. Working inside the parentheses first, we know a negative divided by a negative is positive. This simplifies to negative, or the opposite of positive two-thirds, which is equal to negative two-thirds. And before we go, let's check these on the calculator. Notice by default, the calculator does give us the result in decimal form on the Desmos scientific calculator to convert to simplified fractions we simply click the circle on the far right, which is the convert to fraction button. And notice how this does verify our simplified fractions. I hope you found this helpful.